Hello everyone, I'm Muthu Bhaskaran from uh, Qualcomm. Um, I'll be uh, talking about what my team is up to in the Triton space. Um, largely, my team is focused on developing a software ecosystem that leverages the latest developments in a software domain and use that efficiently for mapping AI workloads on, uh, for inference on cloud as well as edge AI uh, that is built using our uh, Hexagon NPUs. Uh, a little overview on our Qualcomm Hexagon NPUs. Uh, it's a four-way multi-threaded VLIW processor with uh, vector extensions, vector registers, dedicated scratch pad memory. It also has specialized tensor units for performing efficient matrix operations. So coming to the Triton workflow, uh, we have been developing an MLIR-based uh, compiler tool chain that can take in inputs in the MLIR Linalch IR form and lower them to LVMIR all the way to hexagon assembly code that can be done on our hexagon NPUs. Now, we extended this MLIR-based workflow by plugging in the Triton to Linalch converter provided by the Triton shared middle layer that was built by Microsoft and that is being adapted by the community. That way we have the end-to-end -end Triton to LVMIR to hexagon pipeline. The overall approach is that we want to leverage the upstream uh, Triton and MLIR developments and build our downstream target specific optimizations to enhance uh, the optimized workflow on our targets. Uh, the key piece in this end-to-end -end pipeline is the hexagon dialect. So this dialect uh, handles the key optimizations that are needed for our target. Uh, Multicore parallelism, multi-threaded parallelism, vectorization, fusion, mapping to tensor units, various kinds of memory optimizations, and many more. Uh, we are not feature complete yet. Uh, we are still work, it's a still work in progress product. And uh, we are trying to basically extend our workflow and build new features such that we can show more uh, workloads end-to-end uh, -end and show good results. Um, the initial results look uh, really promising for some of the core element-wise kernels. We can get up to like the compiler-generated code is uh, up to like 80% of the hand-optimized uh, code. Uh, it's a good starting point. And as the features get complete, and as uh, the end-to-end -end pipeline is uh, uh, finished, we, uh, uh, we want to publish and open source our uh, backend uh, to the community. Another important aspect of this uh, uh, Triton backend is that because of the PyTorch torch inductor flow automatically generating Triton kernels for you, the Triton backend enables this overall PyTorch to NPU uh, workflow. PyTorch automatically generating Triton kernels and those getting inputted into our Triton hexagon compiler enables us to map uh, full PyTorch models. And we are developing tools that can make this end-to-end -end workflow seamlessly work in a Python uh, environment, a developer-friendly Python environment. So we are not only focusing on the end-to-end -end pipeline and the features, but also more productive environment to use our tools. Um, I'm happy to uh, uh, stick around and in the speaker hour later to answer any questions and to have more discussions uh, and talk more about our work. Thank you.